Well, since everybody's putting out a York video, I thought I'd decide to show you my gem that I picked up at the York TCA Fall 2023 show in York, Pennsylvania. This is a K-Line Berkshire and it is actually the Lima Locomotive Works Incorporated. One of the first prototypical engines that they built in 1924 the original was built and many were built later for the Boston and Albany and Boston and Maine railroads. I love this engine. It's just loaded with details very similar to what brass engines had. They put all the bells and whistles on this thing. It was built in 2005 by K-Line, uh, which would have been pretty close to the last year they were in existence. And it was a scale replica that included the heating box in the front, as well as all the marker lights. The detail is just amazing. Uh, when they built this thing, they put all the bells and whistles uh, that were available for 2005, which included cruise control, TMCC, rail sounds, smoke unit that works very well. It actually has the chug. It's full interior cab. Let's see if I can get you a view of this. Details, it has a light, a lit firebox. Also has the reverse light in the back of the tender. But the piping on it is just amazing. If you can see the details on up front. Also, if I can get around the back here. These open up. This is a really good deal. Everything worked great when I took it out of the box. I did have to put some new tires on it. Um, only because of the fact that these were pretty old, so... I popped on some new tires, did some lubrication of all the uh, different areas on the engine, and I'm very happy with it. And for a price of $400, that's all it was, uh, it could compare to any of, other than the bells and whistles being a little bit better nowadays, but just the overall look of the thing compared to any of the engines that are currently out there. Okay, let's run her and see how she looks. As I said, it's a great smoker. I'm running my 
Woodside Reefer train with it. Probably the most expensive thing I bought at York, but I couldn't pass it up. I always liked K-Line engines. I have several of their engines. Uh, most of them have, some of them have crews in them. Some of them just have TMCCs. Some of them I upgraded to crews, but they run smooth as silk. Coming into the picture again. Nice engine. So that was one of my best finds, and for four hundred dollars. Not bad. I was looking it up and it was originally $899 when K-Line first made it, again back in 2005. It was a very good York. Just a few cars I picked up. This Pennsylvania MTH scale. Box car, 40 foot. I have the both numbers now. They, they actually made to 100686. And I have also the 100688. Uh, I also picked up another nickel plate. This is a PS2 hopper. I have one, and I have two different numbers. And I like my flat cars with the pub trailers, part of my collection. It's hard to see, but it's RCA Victor, which is cool. Back in the old days. And I picked up, I always look for uh, gondolas, and there was a Chesapeake and Ohio Atlas. With the exception of the pup trailers, you can normally pick these cars up at the York Trade Meet for 30 to 35 bucks. Some of them are used, but I looked at all four of them and they are in beautiful condition. Can't complain at all for the price. I was also able to get one more bridge, arch bridge, single. I have a place to put two of them. I had bought one at a Greenberg show for only $35. Uh, they are hard to find anymore, and, and there was only one dealer that I saw that had a black one. Um, of course, it was retail, but now I needed two of them, so now I have the two to finish one of my other projects on the right side of my layout. So this will come, this will be perfect for what I needed. And the biggest surprise of all is I won this at the YouTube meeting. The social media meeting. I was really excited to get this because I have an area on the other side of my train layout that I'm going to be putting a um, industrial type of yard. And I have several of the flats that I bought from Menards uh, and a couple other flats that I put together. So I could always use this and it'll look great. I'll put some lighting in it underneath. It allows you the ability to do that. But this was really exciting. I, I was so happy to get it. I didn't need any more cars, and they were giving away a lot of cars. But when they brought this up, and they says, uh, my number, I thank all the guys who participated in that YouTube social meeting. And it's just great. Fun time at York again. All right. See you next April in York. Have a good one. PRR Joe, signing off.